future and encourage them. I mean, that's all I can really say. It's very important. And, you know, it's with encouragement, if somebody actually sees the light, they actually get better. Any words on it? Well, you know, in, in school, I mean, that's what teachers count on, you know. We are there to encourage our students. We are, Believe it or not, we are not there to put them down. We are not there to embarrass them, okay? We try to... F- well, focus is the next one, but we try to focus on every positive that the student achieves so that he or she can build on it. So, okay, positive affirmations, motivating affirmations. Uh, it never pays to be negative. Okay, that's the best way to turn off uh, anyone. Okay, that you're trying, that you're working with, or trying to help. Okay, Mark. What else? I mean, we can't just stop so quickly. Uh, focus. Focus, one of the most powerful questions for focusing is asking yourself, what would I be doing with my time if I knew I had only 60 healthy months, or six health, healthy months to live? Oh my, focus, focus your time, energy and resources are the things that people it's the things and people that truly matter most to you. Vague goal, goals produce vague, vague results. Take the time to get clear about where you are going and what you'd like to accomplish. accomplish. Whew. Write this down, then focus. I'm definitely not focused when I'm reading this. Maybe you should put your glasses on. I do have, and that's the problem, and I can't see it. Oh, well, I don't have my reading glasses on. That's why. Well, we really do have to encourage and focus, okay? Um, you know, we. one of the things I said at my son's wedding, you know, uh, because, you know, People always make plans. A man makes plans and God laughs. Well, if you knew your time was limited on this earth, okay, how would you spend it? What would you do? And that's the key. Write down and then focus on that. And make that your goal, okay? Uh... You put down too many goals, and you achieve none of them. You put down one goal, definitely, two at the most. It gives you something to strive for. Then the next piece of advice says give. And this is self-explanatory. Giving to another and knowing that our contribution has had a lasting effect creates true happiness and peace in mind. Anytime you give, you grow. Uh, I am reminded of something said by Martin Luther King when he said that when you help another, when you lift up another, you help yourself as well. Anytime you give, you grow. Every time you give, you get. Whether it's a kind word, giving charity, volunteering, or connecting to a cause that speaks directly to you. Your giving has the power to light up the world. Get involved. Okay? Find a purpose in your life. I have a friend who's retired down in Florida. And he has been a big brother... For over 10 years, he gives his time, 
he takes an interest in the young people that he mentors and he is a big brother to. He listens to them. He talks to them. Uh, he takes them to the movies. He takes them for dessert. Uh, sometimes there's usually not a male in their life, okay? So he provides a male role model. Uh, another thing I saw on the news over the weekend, there's a project called Bridge in Baltimore that takes at-risk youth, starting in elementary school. And this first crop of students, they're now graduating... I think their second group of seniors, it started in the third grade. So uh, it started, I would say, about 10 years ago. Okay. And of the 13 people who are graduating high school, 12 of them are on their way to college. Okay. Now you're talking about the very same Baltimore City that was rioting, okay, after the death of that young man, okay, uh, trial pending. So, again, if you can give of yourself, it's very important. The next bit of advice, says help. Think about people you look up to. Those who already are where you would most love to be. Ask them how they did it. Reach out to them, just as other people reach out to you. You reach out to them. Reach out to the experts. Spend time with them. Learn from them. Get their help. Use the love and support of family and friends to spark your bravery and courage. Asking for help is a sign of strength and not weakness. And I think that's something that we all have to learn to accept and understand. If you ask for... You know, no one person can do everything themselves. You know, you need a little helping hand along the way. Uh... Somebody who maybe has walked your path. <coughs> Somebody who has walked your path. Okay, and overcome some of the things that you yourself uh, hope to overcome. Okay? Uh, it doesn't hurt, hurt to ask someone for a little help along the way, and then you pass that along. Felix? Inspiration. Inspiration. Got to make coffee. Read, learn, blog, journal. Go to classes and talks and lectures that inspire you. Inspiration has been, has to be incorporated into your daily schedule so that each day you treat yourself to this essential, this essential vitality. Commit to starting and ending your day with inspiration. One minute of inspiration can ignite a passion inside of your inside of you that can alter the course of your life forever. Give inspiration that space to catalyze the greatest moment you will ever know. Well, you know, inspiration. I'd like to think that we give some inspiration to people who uh, listen to our TV uh, to our TV show. Not yet. Next year, maybe. To our radio show. We try to uh, make light of things, but we're always trying to bring out the better the the, uh, the better side of mankind. We're always trying to show there's good in mankind. And we kid around, we joke, we do a lot of things that are, might be considered a little silly. But the bottom line is, 
the same time we are trying to ins- inspire a little bit. You know, it's uh, and also this show inspires us to keep going and do things. You know, if you see somebody, inspire them to try a little harder, to work a little harder. You know, it says like one minute of inspiration can ignite passion inside of you. It's true. And, you know, again, I will go ahead and talk about the inspiration with uh, my wife. We're always trying to inspire her to to try a little harder. She's pretty depressed at times because of her illness. But we're there always inspiring her and trying to get her to do a little bit more. Inspiring her to exercise more, to stay up more. You know, just to try to improve her lifestyle with a little inspiration. But also what inspires me is some good old music. And I am going to play something that I haven't played for a while. So... This song is an inspiration to all our soldiers all over the world who are fighting for our country. Let's enjoy it. Where are 